Hi everybody, Chris here at Blue Rhino Safaris. Trust you are well. I had a good Women's Day uh, yesterday on the 9th of August. And um, I was chatting to my wife and uh, due to all kinds of reasons in 2021, uh, she stayed behind in December when I went up to Uganda for the gorillas. And um, being Women's Day, I asked her, so we're back to normal, COVID is pretty much thing of the past, we're crossing borders quite easily these days, there's no more trouble anymore. So what would you like to do next December? Where do we go? Um, because it is the time that she can get off work and she can go traveling, uh, December is more or less the, the only time that we can do long trips. And she looked at me and she said, um, Uganda, yes, please, thank you very much. So Uganda it is. And I can tell you why she wants to do Uganda. Uh, in December, Uganda is a lovely place to visit. It's in the mountains. It's not so hot. Um, it's the rain. It's, it's between two rainy seasons. And the people are nice. The food is good. The beer is good. The scenery is spectacular. Uh, it's very accessible. And it's a time that the tourists don't go to, to that part of, the, um, of Africa that much. As I say, it's between two rainy seasons, and if you catch it wrong, then you might get a bit of rain. So the normal tourist season is June, June, July to about November. So yeah, um, 2023, uh, the primates and Great Lakes is back. And I'm very excited about it. It's on the website. You can go and have a look at it. Um, if you go onto the 2023 tour plan and you scroll to the right, then you'll see it right on the end. It is the last tour of the year and it is in place ready to take bookings. Uh, departure date 14 December 2023. The reason for that is we want to be in certain places on certain dates. Uh, you don't want to do New Year's Eve, for example, at the wrong place. You will be noised out of your campsite. Uh, you also don't want to have uh, gorillas on Christmas Day, for example. We want to, to shift it around a little bit. So departure date for next year, 14 December 2023, 31 nights, departing from Kasane in Botswana as the first night and then leaving or arriving back at Nata for the last night, night number 31. Nice restaurant in Nata, so it's nice to have dinner there and close the tour off at, at Nata. If you want to hang back a little bit in Livingston and spend more time in Zambia, you're welcome to, um, or in Malawi, it's, it's something that you can do. The price is a little bit higher than it was three years ago. You'll notice it's not much more. I'm trying to keep the prices as low as I can. Uh, 34th, 700 per person sharing for the whole trip. And that includes all your guide fees, all your accommodation, um, everything. What is excluded on this trip is the, um, or are all the activities. So gorillas are quite expensive, $750 per person to do gorillas. Uh, the chimps is about 220 per person for the chimps. If you want to do the crater, we rent um, jeeps and they take us into the crater for the day. We don't drive in ourselves on this trip. Um, so those things are all optional. You, you don't have to go full hog and spend all the money um, like we normally do in Serengeti, which is quite an expensive trip at the end of the day. This one, there's a base price that you pay, which is 34700 per person, which makes it very affordable to, to travel through all these countries, see everything, stay for free, included basically in this price, and then just do the activities that you want to do. Uh, the um, Rwanda Genocide Museum, for example, is free. So you travel with, you can visit the Genocide Museum, it costs you nothing. So you can really do this on a budget um, if, if you want to. So the base price is, is very much affordable. Let me quickly take you through the route so that you can understand what, what the route is about. Um, as I say, it is on the website. This is a chimp picture that I took myself um, at Kibali, where the chimps, where we did the chimps in 2018, I think it was. And this lady was sitting very high in the tree. It was a, quite a long lens that I used, but I always look at this and then I think, mm, I should do this again. Um, this was such a great trip um, to do. Um, there is a video on the website that gives a 2019 trip report. Matty was with, with us, my wife, so if you don't know her, she was with me. The itinerary is on there and then the map is on there as well. So I think um, let's just go through the map quickly and uh, and talk about what what we are doing so as i said we start in kasani in botswana 
that is our first night there's a nice restaurant there best pizzas in Botswana is there so that's the first night then in 2023 I'm going to change it back to the old system where we do the Vic Falls on the second night just because it's a border crossing and we don't want to faff too much we go to Vic Falls we sleep there for the night uh, Livingston sorry not Vic Falls Livingston and um, you can visit the falls do the chopper flights another restaurant there if you need some food it's a very nice place for the night then we head up to Lusaka and because we're already in Zambia this day is a measured day otherwise if you cross the border and do Lusaka it gets a little bit much for one day um, but we arrive up in Lusaka for the night then we go through on the way to the hot spring at the hot spring we spend a single night then up to the border crossing where we cross into Tanzania make a sharp left long day early start ensures that we can spend three nights at Tanganyika now this is a lake that I've a, a, a lodge that I've been visiting for the last four years I think and um, I even do it in the Serengeti trips these days it's a lovely lodge just to spend a bit of time take a break and and relax uh, you've done a lot of work to get there you've traveled about three three and a half thousand kilometers already in in the last 10 days and it's a good time to take a rest and just chill um, so snorkeling scuba diving sunset cruises restaurant meals uh, local beers it's just a brilliant time to to switch off a little bit from there we head up alongside the lake onto a new road that should be finished by 2023 when we arrive there uh, our last night in tanzania before we cross over into rwanda now, um, Rwanda, I've skipped for the last three years because of COVID. They have stayed closed for a long time, but they are now open again and we can get into Rwanda. And we do three nights in Rwanda. Um, we will visit the Genocide Museum and then we'll see where we spend the other two nights. I have a specific campsite that I normally use. We don't have to use it, um, but we will do three nights in Rwanda. It's a very small country if you blink you miss it so it's easy to to get around and just see what the country is about in three days after those three days we get uh, to the border and go into Uganda our first night in Kisoro uh, where we will um, stay maybe in Kisoro maybe closer to the gorillas it all depends on the activities that we want to do there's a very nice coffee farm uh, you'll see the group in the coffee farm on the pictures um, that I always visit it's it's really one of the best ways to understand coffee is by people who the farmer who, who farms with coffee and explains coffee to you and they go through the whole process from roasting it by hand to grinding it to making your cup and tasting the differences uh, really really a nice experience it's the best coffee tour on this planet um, and it's on the a local farmer's uh, property then two nights at the um, lodge where we do the gorillas from so we trek at Buindi National Park Windy Impenetrable Park and then from there up to Fort Portal where we spend two nights we do the chimps while we at Fort Portal those who want to if you don't want to do the chimps you don't have to uh, if you don't want to do the gorillas you don't have to uh, you can just travel with and enjoy the, the scenery and then we turn sharp right go past Kampala onto Jinja and these three nights really there to catch up on some laundry you can hand in your laundry in Jinja uh, very nice restaurant good food kayaking um, all kinds of things that you can do on the Nile River so we are on the Nile River for for three nights then from there we go into Kenya we just want to pass through to get through to the crater so I don't spend time in Kenya just the one night um, and we basically head through one night in, um, in Kenya then down to Nairobi we stop at the mug and bean there have a coffee have something to eat and through to Arusha one night just outside of Arusha do a bit of grocery shopping and then two nights next to uh, the crater in the town of Karatu. So we stay outside of the crater, we go in, we rent jeeps, the <laughs> jeep jockeys that guys normally talk about, the open game viewing vehicles. Uh, we rent some of them, get onto the um, vehicles and go into the uh, crater for the day. So your vehicle stays in the campsite, you can relax a little bit, take your camera and just enjoy the day uh, in the crater. The crater in summer is spectacular, really one of the best views that you'll have of the crater then from there we carry down uh, through Dodoma, Iringa uh, sleep on the way as we go through to Malawi we are basically heading home now 
Um, two nights at Lake Malawi, again, uh, quite a bit of work that we have to do to get there, which makes the rest day very nice. Uh, the people would order some carvings, a few things that the Malawian guys sell to the tourists outside. Very nice campsite. The restaurant should be up and running by then again. Uh, because of COVID, the restaurant closed. But very nice campsite, really worth doing. And then from there, it's just a push home into Zambia again, down to Lusaka and back down to um, Nata. Uh, last night will be Nata. I'm not going to sleep in Livingston, but you can hang back at Livingston. You can stay there for two or three days and just in, enjoy the, the holiday feeling. Um, but I, because we've already done the falls on the trip, I'm basically just pushing through Livingston, getting back into Botswana. It's a quick border crossing these days with a bridge. It takes about half an hour and you can get down to Nata to get back home again. And that's the trip. It, it is a stunning, stunning, stunning trip. Um, I, I don't think I'll get my wife away from Uganda over December ever again. Uh, it is just the people, the food, the view, the temperatures, everything is just perfect. Uh, fuel prices by 23 should be coming down a little bit as well. Otherwise, you just save for it. Save a bit of money, uh, swipe a card and do that. Um, fairly straightforward let's look at the budget people always ask me about you know, how much money do they now need to, to plan for this so from the top um, the fees for blue rhino safaris is on the website is that 35,000 roughly per person so that's uh, 35 35 if you're two people at 70 then the gorillas 750 dollars is what it is currently uh, per person for the trek itself the chimps 220 so let's make that about a thousand USDs uh, per person for gorillas and chimps. Then the crater normally costs us, we share the, the uh, vehicle, so that normally ends up at about $120 per person, something like that for the day. And that really is your extra fees. On the Nile River, you can do a bit of boat cruises. On the Tanganyika Lake, you can do a bit of boat cruises. At Livingston, you can. So you'll probably spend another $100 or so. Border fees, uh, $6,000 per vehicle is the budget. Um, sorry, not $6,000, $600 per vehicle is the budget. Um, it's about $250 into Zambia, about $120 into Tanzania, and then a little bit here and there. Uh, if you're a foreigner, you're going to have to buy visas. If you're a South African, there's no visas except for East Africa. East Africa is going to cost you $100 uh, for that visa. Otherwise, fuel, about 10,500 kilometers. And you can work on similar rates to what you would pay in South Africa. Um, as we travel, the, the US dollar rate per, per liter is roughly the same in all countries, just depicted in different, um, in different currencies. So if you're paying $1.40 at the moment for a liter, then that is what you're going to pay more or less through all of the different countries. So that, that is something that you can use as a base. Um, take our RAND value, turn it back into dollars, and you'll know how many dollars you need for a trip like this. As I say, 10,500 Ks, um, it's, it's between services, so you can service your vehicle before the trip, you can service a vehicle after the trip, and you, you miss nothing. Other than that, what's included in my fees are all your accommodation uh, for the whole trip. Here and there in Rwanda, um, somewhere in Tanzania, we won't sleep in campsites. I pay your hotel for you, it's included in this. Um, if you want to upgrade, on your own then you can do that you just upgrade at certain campsites they do have chalets available so yeah this is a awesome trip it, it really is great um, and even if you don't want to do the gorillas and you just want to drive around and just experience the area and see what's out there then um, do it. it it's one of those things that that's spectacular i'm lucky enough that i can go back there every time i did the gorillas for the third time now um, and the time before I didn't do the gorillas itself, I, I stayed in camp and I was so disappointed afterwards that I didn't do it because it's always nice to do them. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to this trip. It's, uh, it's just a great December holiday trip for South Africans. So join me, make a booking, uh, get yourself on the list. And um, it's a long time to go so you can start saving and it makes it possible for everybody to do so give me a call, email me, and we can, uh, we can start planning for this trip. Otherwise, have a great day. Stay safe, drive safe. Cheers.